So I installed Visio yesterday for the first time, and then today I went to the ASM meeting and learned a little bit more about how to use Visio. I uh, learned a few, you know, a few tri tricks and uh, thought that those of you who couldn't make it um, would want to want to know. So I made this, you know, short little tutorial, and hopefully you guys will like it and it'll help you finish the homework pretty quickly. So you can go to the island site, and then I just titled this link like Visio UML 2.2 link tinyurl.com uh, slash url2-2. Um, here on this page it has directions for how to install the custom stencil. Um, the files are right here. If I remember correctly you go to um, you end up installing it in this shapes file. You make this UML folder and you copy this address location. But anyway, it's, it's all written right there. I'll let you read it for yourself. Um, Open up Visio, uh, go to UML model diagram. Another way to open it would be to go to file, new, um, software and databases, go to UML model diagram right there. So this gives you kind of their standard UML drawing activities, but um, to, inst to add in the stuff you just installed, you go to this UML folder or whatever you, you titled your folder go to UML 2-2 symbols and those will give you kind of some extra extra symbols that I found pretty pretty useful. Um, so I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Um, go to the static structure and click on this class button. I noticed this was the best um, the best way to to create a little class. So. You can double click on them and then just title it student, you know, go to attributes, name, course number, you know, whatever information you want. Um, and you can drag and drop another one or another trick we learned was you can do control click to create a new box and then you, or just copy an old box I guess, and then you can go here, delete delete. We don't want those. We want size, section, number. I'm just doing number five. We, we did it in class. So I don't feel bad. You know, showing all the answers, I guess. Um, go to symbols and then go to this straight relations symbol and you can just drag and drop it over here. This one, there are lots of options you can use. This one we found was the best. Double click on the center dot, change the font to, to eight so you can see it is taking and then they have these little corner dots over here. And if you click um, F2, oh, that was not F2, F2, you can um, just make, um, you can t just type directly into the shape. And then you can draw those little relations. Um, anyway, make another static structure class. Another class, we'll call this one course attributes can be name okay um, back here change it to eight then I noticed that it was kind of, or at least to me, like it felt a little bit time consuming doing all this every single time. So, um, another kind of trick that you can do is if you have like a shape that you really like, control click, you can, if you want to be able to just use it later, you can make a custom object. If you just drag it over to the symbols box, you can click yes. The reason um, why that you know, a little um, note came up. You can actually only add custom stencils, or sorry, custom shapes to a stencil that you've uh, created yourself. So this is the UML symbols that we just installed, but I can't like add a custom shape like this one right here. I can't, oh, let's try again. Control click. I can't add this shape to like this chart, um, which is too bad. I don't know how to work around that, but anyway, um, I actually, and then you can like rename it. I actually made one right here that I liked. It was just, 
as the dots kind of moved over on the side so that they format nicely. Um, then you can make another thing that was kind of nice and like switching back between the two so you can do that and rename it it's custom object and then up here I guess it's a class not an object you can type in department got a name for this little link in um, and um, also, I noticed it would capitalize the first letter automatically. A way to stop that from happening is you go to autocorrect options and then you uncheck capitalize the first letter of sentences. Um, unless you like them capitalized, then definitely you know keep that on. F2, 1, then it's kind of low, so I'll just use the arrow keys to move them up a little bit. Take this left, not bottom one, F2, star, move this one down a bit. And that's, I guess, the problem. So if you want to label it, you can make this text box right here. Maybe put a, a five by it, and then at the top of the, your paper, if you want to have a heading, um, insert another text box. Um, left the line name ISIS 402 chapter 4 that box like it doesn't look very pretty just expand it a little and yeah just type up through the homework problems and so kind of just to review, one of the cool tricks is you can highlight a whole object and then you can do control click. Oh, that didn't work. Control click. To copy that box over. I guess you have to select one of the objects when you click it. And then you can add custom objects that you create yourself into stencils that you've uh, loaded yourself. Um, one thing that I use kind of a comment is if you because this is like a static structure you actually can't use the class object like if I were to close this document up and then only open the UML 2.2 symbols I couldn't um, when I import this class I try to edit it I couldn't get this box this class properties that might be okay you might be able to like just click on the boxes and do F2 but you might um, also, if you're getting that problem, you have to open up the UML activity so you can get that, the right template. Um, I don't know yet of a, of a good workaround around that issue. Um, anyway, so that is kind of the easiest way, I think, to do the homework. It, it looks good, it's fast, it's simple. Good luck.